Looking at the impact COVID-19 is having on education, Liza, the state's largest district is the latest to make this decision to go virtual. Indeed the case and here, Fran, we are talking about Gwinnett County Public Schools. The decision to move to 100% digital, at least temporarily, well, that comes down to staffing. That, according to the district, which tweeted out plans to transition all those who have been at school back to remote learning at least for a week. January 19th through 22nd following the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday and that is all due to a spike in COVID-19 cases. Now when we talk about these staffing concerns, here are details from the district. The district citing that they have nearly 800 employees at this point who are either sick with COVID-19 or quarantine because they are close contacts. Nearly 460 of those are teachers and the district also cited that this is an even bigger problem because of a shortage of substitutes and this is something we've seen noted across other school districts in the metro as well. Now they said when making this decision they didn't take it lightly and they acknowledge that there are hardships for parents here but they also say that they feel like this is a necessary measure to provide time for all those employees who are sick to get better as well as those who have to quarantine to be cleared so they can get back to work. Fran. Liza, thank you. And tonight, DeKalb County Schools will update families on its plan for students in a virtual town hall. The district announced this week it's delaying the reopening of schools until mid-February because of the rise of COVID-19 infections. Now, schools were set to open their doors next Tuesday. Parents can watch the virtual town hall from the school's district Facebook page or its website at 6 p.m.